good morning youtube so what a brilliant day for horse racing yesterday i really hope you enjoyed entry and uh, yeah rachel blackmore not only opening the door for people but literally kicking it off the hinges for every young girl coming through and uh, yeah what an amazing amazing achievement and when you look back after the race now you say was it ever in doubt after the year she has had and uh, just what a jockey first of all let's just say what a jockey cool as a breeze and uh, yeah just got her horse in a beautiful rhythm and uh, it, it, it just looked for me going out on the final circuit heading down the back straight it just looked for me I, I remember looking at my mother going she's going to win the national the horse was just really her and the horse were just at one and they were just jumping lovely and everything was going right so beautiful beautiful ride well done rachel once again proven you're one of the very very best we've ever seen so really really uh brilliant stuff and uh phenomenal to get to where this girl got to like it's 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 mount everest stuffed uh 10 times in a day that's what it is so an unbelievable achievement to come from completely outside of the sport to coming in and dominant but like i said on my facebook some people were born into racing rachel blackmore was born to do it and that is just the reality what a lady as well really really great interviews after it and doesn't realize her own stardom beautiful to watch so well done and, and what a day is racing the my drago very very impressive as well so the skeletons will dream big there okay moving on a little bit from racing for a second and uh, yeah just touch on the masters final round of the masters so really going to enjoy that and uh, yeah we've tipped up Corey connors each way pre-tournament at a massive price so he's still in around there he's six under par so really has some bit of a chance on the final day and it's not every day you get the sweat one at big odds so best of luck to everybody that followed us on that we also gave an in running selection on facebook which was jordan speed so we'll be watching in closely uh justin rose out in front but anyway we're going to enjoy that this evening i'll watch in and uh, watch it all play out but it's one of my favorite golf tournaments uh to watch i just always love it i had the pleasure of being to augusta okay so let's take it back two racing for a second leopardstown today we have a really really good meeting we have some nice trials we have the guineas trials today and uh, yeah we got some really nice unexposed horses here uh the maiden let's just touch on the first race as well so the 140 today is the leopardstown maiden hms seahorse is your favorite a bit uneasy he was around five to four. He's out to six to four, but not not really that uneasy, but just a tad. O'Reilly, Shane Foley, uh, Jessica Harrington, same thing. Small little drift in the market, but not in too alarming. And Sal Salvici, Kevin Manning, and Jim Bulger. Listen, I'm just going to move on. It's a race I've no opinion on at all. There's two or three there uh, that it's hard to just gauge, and I'm not going to start talking about stuff I know nothing about, and I just don't know anything about them, to be honest. So in the next race, we have the Bally Lynch Stud Red Rocks 2000 Guineas Trial. What a year for Bally Lynch. Make believe, really making a name for himself. And uh, yeah, absolutely unbelievable. So make believe one of the looking like one of the top sires around at the minute. Very, very good. So let's just touch on Adrian McGuinness and Ronnie Whelan a case of you little bit of money for this fours clipped into trees absolutely strong in the margin is Ado McGuinness the best trainer in the world right now uh, every horse this man runs seems to win I don't know what's going on I just think he's delivering these horses time and time again and it's just ma it's it's unbelievable so well done Ado McGuinness and all the team very very brilliant a case of you ridden by Ronnie we we uh, Whelan Monasab Chris Hayes in the saddle for Kevin Prendergrass and uh, yeah definitely has some nice bits of form Poex Flair as well definitely looks a pretty smart I think it's by Dawn approach and he just got beat I think in a grade one I think when he has two wins either side of a grade one but I just want to double check that yeah in the Dewhurst so definitely has some good form as well and you can always forgive the the, the, the young horses a bad run maybe even two bad runs 
I'm going to take a little chance here with Horoscope each way. Now, I don't have big selections there. I'm only giving two horses each way and a little mention to another horse. So treat this very care. I'm not going to be uh, tipping horses I, do, I don't know enough about. I need to spend the next uh, six weeks watching all every single race before I come back to you with stronger opinions. For now, I just want you to tread carefully. I'm going to go away and put in six hard weeks of study. I'm going to take a lot of notes and then I'm going to come back with stronger selections. Okay, so we'll just touch on horoscope. Could be a big improver. Little green and lackluster at times, getting the hang of things, but definitely can improve. And that's always a good sign with an Aidan O'Brien horse. Uh, by no name ever. And... Uh, I just think it's been getting slowly getting the hang of things and it's a good each way price uh, five to one I think for a horse that could improve to be good enough so I like horoscope each way uh, just as an improver with some upside and Ryan Moore and Aidan O'Brien you can't go too wrong in these barrier trials because they normally have a good selection to put forward and they'll put forward the one they think is the most ready at the time so they must think this is the, the guy that's ready enough. So moving on then to the Ballylynch Stud, Priory Bell, 1,000 guineas trial, group three. So let's talk about Shale. Okay, Shale, Ryan Moore gets off a couple of Aidens here to ride Dunica's charge. Shale has rock solid form already and definitely has the form in the book. And being by Galileo, you can expect to improve this season again. Already a group one winner. And uh, yeah, a little disappointing on the final run, but we can forgive them that as we just spoke about. These young horses, you can definitely forgive them at least minimum one off there. So Lockley and Shane Foley and Jessica Harrington definitely was impressive the last day. Where's the ceiling with the ability? It's hard to know. So I'm going to give a little each way selection. Yes, the favourite Shale has probably rock solid form, but these races tend to throw up a lot of improvers and you just never know which horse is going to improve past the other. So I'm going to take a little chance here on the Jessica Harrington trained Lockley and each way. Same thing, around 5-1 to one from a good draw in stall 1 uh, to put up a good show. Very impressive winner the last time. Let's just touch on a few others. Shane Cross, very talented rider. My generation for Joseph O'Brien. Empress Josephine. Shamey Heffernan for Aidan O'Brien. Joan of Arc. Wayne Lorden for Aidan O'Brien. And Matt. Mahana, Chris Hayes for Kevin Prendergast was an impressive winner on debut. Okay, so 12 to 1, and we have a couple of others there. Let's just rattle them off. Sai Sizey Jet, Safi's Pride, Hazel, Messy Door, More Beautiful, Sense of Style, Amber Kite, Allegar, Kepper of Time. So for me, I'll just take a little chance, Lockley in each way, after an impressive win on her final run of her two-year-old campaign. From a good draw, can, can maybe improve a bit this year. And then I'm going to move on to the 315 race, the Leopardstown Members Handicap Hurdle. And uh, yeah, really, really trappy affair. And uh, like always, I haven't got enough study so I'm not going to be bullshitting anybody and I'm not going to let on I know enough about the horses because I don't. So I'm going to move on swiftly past this race. I have no opinion as of now. And then we have the, Bal uh, the Memorial Bally Sack Stakes and a Group 3 race. Now, we have a couple of interesting uh, ones here. You have the Lock Derg, Aidan O'Brien, Seamus Heffernan around 13-2. to two. You have... Uh, Kaya Pan, Dusty Foley, Jessica Harrington, Isla Shark. So a lot of these horses <coughs> already showed good, good form. A lot of them winning on their debuts. But I have to go with the favourite here. I just think Aidan O'Brien, the Galileo horse. <coughs> and he was a very impressive winner in Leopardstown before. And I just think that... His form then in the group one was very good as well. Like he wasn't beaten that far when he went to France. I think it was St. Cloud. I'll just double check it. But I just think I love these Galileos to keep improving. I'm just going to go and say this is one definitely for the day. So 
really enjoy that yes there's some improvers behind but this has some rock solid form being by a Galileo and uh, should improve so Aidan O'Brien in great form and off to a flyer Ryan Moore in the plate and then moving on I'm just going to give a horse to follow here maybe if not today a first run in a handicap maybe if not today but a little bit later in the season for sure but Chicago Bear definitely has a, a lot of upside off a mark of 83 and uh, could be a real improver this year and uh, yeah I just think definitely want to keep a close eye on and it's a son of the great Sayuni so really really interesting so I'm going to leave it there with the coverage of the racing. Like I say, treat all them selections with care. I really need to put in six or eight weeks study into the racing. And uh, that's what I plan on doing. And uh, yeah, coming back to you, hopefully as we go with, um, with some more rock solid opinions. And there's nothing I love more than having a good rock solid opinion on a 16 to 1 shot. And the only way I can get that is when when I put in the, the study so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to study away for now I'll just keep covering the sport which he enjoying the sport and uh, yeah trying to find you just tentative selections at the minute that might run, outrun their odds I have some track horses they won't be coming out uh, anytime soon but I do I like a couple of <coughs> a couple of flat horses that is in it and I, I'm really looking forward to waiting for them to come as well so anyway listen this is mad murrigan this is my youtube channel for all sports coverage come follow me here and uh, yeah we'll enjoy our sports we'll talk about you know we'll cover the sport truly and hopefully with a little bit of tongue and cheek to it but i really enjoyed the grand national meeting yesterday gonna enjoy the masters this evening and what a win for leeds united yesterday 10 men against the great Man City and we pulled it off. Dallas, absolutely, what a day, running in to snatch a victory for us. Unbelievable. So listen, we're just brilliant and Leeds are just a threat for any team moving forward. It is unbelievable. They're going to these big clubs. There's none of this sit back shit. There's none of this see what happens, try and defend. It's just go after it. If you get half a chance with the ball, fucking every man and his fucking kids are, are, are running in after uh, to try and score a goal so really really exciting to watch and uh, yeah here's hoping next year we can build and even improve again so brilliant brilliant stuff stay tuned the time for cotton is over